putting teeth into slime, adding makeup into slime, iPhones! Okay, now they're just flexing. They are flexing on me. But what do I do? It was at that moment she knew what she had to do. That's what I have to do. Let's do this. What's up you guys? My name is Andrea and welcome back to the Andrea X Andrea channel. I've been seeing a lot of like really cloudy, like really flexy slime DIY videos. I wanted to join in on the fun and I wanted to film a video where I make slime for the, for the clout. We're gonna do that. So starting out with my longest and probably the most blingy of all of our slimes today, we're going to be making a slime palette, but with a twist. I'm trying to expand the brands of dye that I use because you guys, if you know me at all, know they're a lot more liquidy than I'm used to, but we needed to branch out. We're also going to be using some good old clear slime today. A lot. Actually, this drained my clear slime supply. I am literally clear slimeless as I film this voiceover. And the main event, the real and totally, totally not fake bag of diamonds. I know, I know what you're thinking. Okay, they look like you got them off Amazon. No, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> Anyways, take your bag of sparkly, shiny, and very expensive diamonds and scatter the whole thing into the bottom of your palette, trying to get them as even as possible. If you're lazy like me, this is the best that we're gonna get, I guess. Dye break. So this pack of colors only came with primary colors and a green, which a ton of you guys on Instagram pointed out is not in fact a primary color. Thanks guys, appreciate it. I mixed up the yellow, the red, and then the blue, and then we're gonna be mixing bits of those into different colors. So basically we're gonna be doing this in the most time consuming way possible. So far these colors seem to be working really, really well. I normally do like gel colors a lot better just because they're a little bit easier to control and to manage because they're not so liquidy, but these look super satisfying on camera. We were able able to make a ton of cool colors with these three, such as this plum purple I didn't plan on making, but I did anyways. Orange, teal, slightly greener green, and slightly pinker pink. So uh, lots of options in there. I wasn't super happy with how bright the colors were. I kind of imagined this would be more of like a watercolor clear palette, kind of inspired by all of the clear slimes I've seen on Instagram. I think the pink and the orange were definitely my favorites just because those are colors that I tend to gravitate to a lot, but definitely let me know down below what are you guys' favorites. Then I started separating pieces of the different colors and then adding them in randomly. My idea for this is kind of for it to come out looking like a super pastel and marbled um, thing. Ooh, look at those little colored bits. I definitely didn't add because I realized I was running out of clear slime. No, totally planned. Totally. Then I went back in with a layer of pure clear slime so we would get kind of like a magnified effect on top. Set everything aside to chill and do its thing. And by do its thing, I mean set aside until the bubbles rise and all the colors are melted together for the best effect. I'm not really sure why I didn't just say that in the video. And you got this cute rainbow watercolor palette. So I made this layered clay sandwich and covered it in gold leaf just because I wanted to get a little extra with the clay. I didn't want it to be one solid color and I thought that it would look pretty cool with different layers in it. So first of all, to make these layered clay ice cream sandwich cake um, things, that's definitely the name we're going with here. You're going to need, shocker, shocker on this one. I know you guys probably aren't expecting this, but uh, you're gonna need some clay and a lot of it. I'm using Daiso clay as the base for this just because it's already made into a square shape. So it's pretty easy to work with. And then I'm using a Model Magic in like a bright pink fuchsia magenta color. You can honestly use pretty much any clay for this. I really love these colors. It's kind of the main reason I picked these clays. Like the bubble gum vibe with the blue and the pink. That was definitely what I was going for to recreate the clay blocks. So I'm not gonna be reshaping the Daiso clay too crazy, but I'm gonna be molding all of the other clays off of this base just because this clay is a little bit stiffer and it holds its shape pretty well. Okay, so it's a 
It's a little damaged on one side. Smooth that over. You can always fix it with slime, so don't panic. <laughs> Once we've got all of that done, I'm gonna take some white clay. This clay is actually by Happy Kawaii Eye Supplies. My mom actually bought some of their clays and she gave me some to try. It's pretty good, I will say. But I feel like it's a really nice, like, soft clay to use as a base just to drape over the entire clay block. Then we're just gonna wrap the entire thing in the white clay. Kind of keep it smooth on the edges, but you know, if it looks a little ugly on the bottom, no one cares. No one's looking at the bottom, okay? But fold it kind of like a burrito or a, a wrapped envelope. Um, something else you wrap. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm running out of material here. Then, because I didn't feel like it was extra enough for our extra video, I wanted to cover it in gold leaf. And once you have done all of that, looks like this cute little gold block. And then uh, when you cut into it, it's so cool, honestly. I was really happy with these. I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely proud of these, but they look like little ice cream sandwiches or like, I don't know, little cakes or something super cute. So I just had to include that in there. I actually made a yellow one for our mixing today. So for this one, I took some really thick base slime, just a white plain slime, and then draped that over the gold leaf. And of course, this slime would not be complete without doing something extremely extra to it. So I... <laughs> decided to go a little crazy and I love how my idea of going a little crazy is using an entire bottle of glitter on slime. I can't tell if I love it and if this is a really good idea or if I absolutely hate it and this was a huge waste of glitter. Definitely let me know what you think down below. This one really was just for show. Like I just wanted to see what would happen if you poured an entire bottle of glitter in slime, but I have to say it turned into the most amazing butter slime texture. So so it was super light, but you also got a ton of crunch and sizzle from the glitter. So if you guys have any extra glitter at your house, I definitely recommend trying this because I am a huge fan of the texture. So going with the expensive theme, I made these cute clear slimes and gold jewelry goblet things. I added a bit of gold leaf on top just because uh, why not? Honestly, these were pretty simple to make. There's not a lot going on that I feel like I have to explain, but I am in love with how they came out. Honestly, these are probably my favorite slimes in the entire video. And it was actually crazy satisfying to watch the gold leaf like being pressed down into the goblets. Like that was my favorite part of my favorite video in this video. I know that's a lot to process, but like favorite part, hands down. Speaking of satisfying things, pulling the chains out of the goblets made these clicking noises. Like, I don't know if you hear it. It was hands down my favorite part of the favorite part of the favorite video. You feel, do you, do you get what I'm saying here? Like one of my favorite ASMR sounds is definitely gold leaf cracking, but I have to say this is definitely up there in Andrea's most satisfying sounds now. So don't get your hopes up too high for this one because not only did the slime cause the nail rip of the century, how do I explain this? Floral foam is deceiving. Floral foam, when you watch it on Instagram, you're like, ooh, that looks super fun. It looks super easy to squish. I just wanna dig my fingers into that. And then when you do it in person, you realize that floral foam is a lot tougher than you realize it is on Instagram. There was a struggle. I mean, I feel like there were some satisfying Ooh. bits to it, like watching the water squish out was kind of fun. Um, I just wanted to put it in here just because I thought it was funny. Either way, I made this slime by taking a clear slime and then adding a bunch of golden pigments I had left over from my metallic mixing pigment YouTube video. And then soaked a floral foam square overnight. Bada bing, bada boom. You have a slime video. If you guys try this at home, maybe uh, let me know how you did it better than me. Cause I'm probably, I'm pretty sure that you did. And finally, the most expensive, most outrageous, most clout, 
the slimes that we've made so far. We started out with a clear slime. I added a bit of green, some of that green that we made in the beginning of the video, if you guys remember that. Get it? Cause uh, green is like, like the money. Cause money is green. And what goes better with money green slime than, oh, I don't know, a, a casual $10,000 or so. The most satisfying part of this one is definitely watching the slime melt out all over the bills. I thought it looked really, really aesthetic and I'm definitely gonna put that on Instagram. Mixing in the bills was a bit harder than I thought that it would be. It definitely was not as satisfying as it played in my mind and kind of just eventually made this like huge sticky pile of money. It was still really fun for the memes. Yes, it is all fake, just like this whole entire video. Uh, if you guys are in the comments, please, um, you know, the people who didn't watch this far in the video, you should definitely go set them straight and let them know that I didn't just waste $10,000. Because first of all, that's illegal. And second of all, I definitely wouldn't do that. that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, definitely hit thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it and I will see you in next week's video. I love you. Bye.